I understand that Palestine became signed the NPT some time ago. Could you tell us your views about what you think of the issues of non-proliferation and what is it that stands in the way of achieving some success? Well, when it comes to the Middle East, I think um, there is only one country that uh, possesses uh, nuclear weapons, which is Israel. Not only this, but it is the only country uh, that has not yet joined uh, the NPT and placed its facilities under uh, the comprehensive safeguard system of the Atomic Energy Agency. That's why the issue of the Middle East is always uh, a big issue in prep comms and review conference. And in fact, the last review conference in 2015 failed because there was no agreement on, uh, particularly on a weapons uh, free zone, nuclear weapons uh, free zone in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Palestine had signed the. And exactly. Pal the Palestine joined the NPT in early, in February uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. Uh, from our side, that was a commitment to show that uh, Palestine as a state committed only to the peaceful use of nuclear uh, energy, is committed to non-proliferation, and is committed in general to peace and security in the Middle East. Now we are in the process of uh, signing a comprehensive safeguards agreement with the Atomic Energy Authority Agency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, uh, all of the Arab countries, not only the Arab countries, the wider Middle East, uh, Iran as well joined the NPT and has a safeguards agreement with the agency, Atomic uh, Energy Agency. That's why the review conference of 2010 uh, decided to convene a conference mm -hmm. in uh, 2012 uh, on the issue of a zone free of uh, weapons, weapons of mass destruction. destruction. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, three uh, signatory powers of the NPT, Russia, UK, and the United States, failed to convene this uh, conference. So again, this issue is still a uh, discussed issue at the PrepCom, this PrepCom, the first PrepCom, and for sure will be uh, also an issue in the coming two PrepComs and uh, ultimately in the review conference in yeah. 2020. Yeah. So, but it's difficult to predict what will happen. <laughs> no, of course, it's very difficult to, uh, to, yeah. predict, uh, mm -hmm. to predict what will, uh, will happen. A um, large number of um, the states in this PrepCom in Vienna uh, listening to the statements, to national statements, are still committed to uh, the 2010 uh, resolution of convening a conference uh, on the Middle East. Uh, this is also the position of the mass, vast majority of the Arab countries. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, of course, also the Palestinian position.